to, what is the reason we are doing what we're doing? And if your reason is pure, it'll move the world forward. And if it's selfish, it will hold the world back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think now in today's day and age, the technology that we have just like this to be able to talk and literally be in each other's business in a heartbeat, you're, you're exactly right. We've, we're moving into that age where purity of action and intention matter. And people are going to want to use that to try to better, not just themselves, but society, economics, politics, everything all the way around. Because, you know, we We've moved into the 21st century. Our technology is j jumping at leaps and bounds, but we still use century-old systems for those right. for those things. And and it's um if you don't think that they need an update like your iPhone does, you're crazy. You know because what happened on last year's technology couldn't predict what we would be doing today. So you can't. It, it has to be able to evolve, like you're saying. And so. You know, we've done it through leaps and bounds and gone through all kinds of different historical steps and have learned and tried to grow and figure out what is the best way for us to live as a society, as people. And, um, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're at that stage again. We're, we're now here ready to learn, ready to find out. And what's funny about it is that our oldest and most basic rules seem to be the things that will answer the very question that we're looking for. Like Jake was saying, do unto others that you want done unto you. Yeah. This is just business. And in business, I can screw you over. Well, why? That's not, that doesn't follow the rule. So what we need to do is get business back to following and understanding that rule. Then people won't slanderize and be mad at the very economic giant that's made it so that we can sit on Zoom and talk to each other. Right. Well, and that's really the key right there is because I think a lot of people would argue that business as a whole, and we've talked about this before, the whole like crony capitalism thing. It's like yeah, business, I think, and I think a lot of people think it becomes very amoral at a certain level. It becomes less about, you know, not, not even doing objectively the right thing, but just, you know, it, it, it seeks out and it, it seems that it seeks out in a lot of ways, ways to like grow at the expense of literally others. I mean, you know, you talk about um, Activision who, you know, post record profits at the same time, they're laying off 8% of their workforce, you That's know, they, and they do that on the same day. It's yeah. like, Oh, we've, we've made more money this quarter, you know, this quarter, this fiscal year than we've ever made before but we're also firing 800 people just because, because we want to maintain that. And I think it's very, you know, now especially is the sort of time when you're exactly right. It's like, take, get some of that morality, that basic decency back into business and it becomes a whole other thing. It becomes, yeah. you know, something that, that people want to support and don't want to just rally against all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and karma is a great thing for that. I mean, karma is, you know, definitely one of the few businesses that morality is kind of right on the, the it's right, it, right on the label. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 